he lied to us on record. He said he's got nothing to do with this form. We've proven that his footprints are all over. And I just want to show our viewers. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, if our camera person can just bring it in. This is the visiting card, a, a printout we've taken of an online visiting card of uh, Top Sites LLC. If you see in the corner there, it lists here, this one. It lists Somnath Bharti as the CEO of this company. Somnath Bharti, CEO Top Sites. That's a visiting card off the internet and it's registered in his address. He's the administrator, he's the financier. The footprints are just way too much, Subhimal. Mm -hmm. You know, he's got some explanation, some denial for certain aspects, but it all can't just be a coincidence or can it? I have only one it's point here. Okay. Uh, Subhimal, if I can take the moment, that this thing, and as Subhimal himself mentioned, that has been out there since November 2005. I have not seen a public denial of this. There has been no counter cases if he was innocent in this. Suddenly when this, you know, people think and they wish away all these digital footprints, they don't go away so easily. The internet has the elephant's memory. And it has come out to haunt him now. Right? So I want to go across to Dr. Maninder Singh. Yes, go on. One more evidence. This is a company called Media LLC. LLC in US means limited liability company. Again, the address here is C28 Malviya Nagar. This is the so What did this company do? This again, if you go through, uh, there are many, uh, uh, you know, uh, domain names. When you okay. do the who is search, you, know, you will find it that it leads to C28 uh, and the same man. Same man so I want to introduce here. two experts on our broadcast tonight. Prashanto Roy is one of the best known digital journalists in our country. Uh, he's been writing extensively about Somnath Bharti being one of the world's most notorious spammers for several years now, long before mainstream media caught on to the story. He's the one who unearthed this. Uh, also with us at this time is Dr. Maninder Singh. He's one of the country's top experts on cyber crime, teaches at Thapa University, has been working with us in putting the story out tonight. Thank you very much, Dr. Singh. But I first want to go across to Prashant Roy to explain to our viewers the top sites LLC scam. Why is this? not just an isolated incident but part of a massive global spamming racket which is amongst the world's most notorious. Prashant, welcome. Yeah, hi uh, Rahul. Uh, so, you know, when we did the story in uh, 2005 uh, in PC Quest, uh, we turned up something <coughs> interesting here because top sites, LLC, see this is beyond spam. We first approached it as a spam issue. But finally what we realized is that this is way beyond spam. This is scam as in S-C-A-M. Why? Because Top Sites was essentially a scam site, which what it would do is it would gather hundreds and thousands of web uh, directory details and webmaster details from some public domain resource called the Open Directory Project. And then it would approach them and say that, look, we are listing you in one of the world's top search engines and directories, and you need to be here. And to be here, you need to pay up. Now, this is like the Nigerian 419 phishing scam. Absolutely. You know, if you Absolutely. send out millions of them, then a few people respond. So about 1 to 2 percent of these webmasters responded with money. So Top Sites apparently was turning in 1.8 million dollars a year around the 2005 time frame. And this was a scam. So looked at all the subsequent revelations, uh, you've seen the denial from Somnath Bharti and then you're seeing what Ashish Mehrishi has dug out for our viewers tonight. How conclusive do you think the case against Somnath Bharti is? Because so far He's denied having anything to do uh, with Top Sites LLC. He says somebody published bogus visiting cards. That's not me at all. What are you making of his defense in, com in relation especially to the facts that have been put out tonight? No, uh, this is, uh, it, the, the evidence is very concrete. It's, it's not circumstantial even. Because in August 2005, the interesting thing was uh, we met Mr. Bharti. Uh, and when we spoke to him and we asked him about this, he didn't deny that he was connected with them. But he said that this was just some story put out by Conrad Longmore. Now, interestingly, we had not heard of Conrad Longmore except from Mr. Bharti. And then we went to Conrad Longmore and we found uh, the stuff that he has put out. So all the, uh, the admin contacts, tech contacts, etc., the visiting card, all this adds up to very conclusive evidence. Uh, very clearly, Mr. Bharti was running this company, Top Sites LLC. On the basis of his denial, given also the unethical dimensions to the operation that he ran, 
uh, the illegality, <coughs> especially in the United States, also now in the uh, also now in India. Do you think Somnath Bharti should step down, or do you think Kejriwal should force this man to step down, Prashanto? Yes, I do believe so. You know, I I do. Uh, I, I mean, it's uh, unrelated to this that I believe in the concept of the Amadmi Party, but I think they've got into an eclectic, diverse uh, range of people. And in this case, Mr. Bharti definitely. I mean, his background does cast a shadow on what he is trying to do and the fact that he is law minister because this background involves not just spamming which some people might write off and say you know that's okay it's, it's minor stuff but a big uh, a scam and a possible link not confirmed to those bond sites so i clearly think i don't think he has the moral the credibility to continue in the job that he's supposed to be uh, well, doing he definitely was amongst the world's most notorious spammers also possibly involved in a pawn uh, operation, those are dimensions that need to be investigated.